well, I'm working on a new uh, concerto that, uh, actually I'm feverishly writing it as we speak right now, um, that is a one movement piece uh, for, as Mark would say, pure wind ensemble, so there's no saxophones. I'll be soloing on a lot of marimba, but I'm doing a lot of other percussion instruments, some uh, hand drums, some you know, tom, big tom setup, uh, some vibraphone, and probably some other, other sort of exotic instruments as well. Um, a decent sized percussion section along with that, and um, so I'm excited about it. It's a lot of fun to write, and uh, looking forward to showing Mark what I have, hopefully soon now. Well, I just found out more about the piece than I've known. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you a little bit. Yeah, more, yeah, yeah, and, and, and no, I'm excited about it because Michael played a little bit of it for me about a month ago or so, and, and it's really, really seems like a, a neat idea. And one of one of my ideas is not necessarily. And Mike, you said the pure wind ensemble. I just don't want to offend any wind ensembleites out there that wind ensemble can include saxes and euphonium and things like that. We were talking about the orchestra wind section, so right. it's it's kind of a leaner group. Which gives it, it gives the um, Michael a chance to to write a lot of different colors that he's not going to have to worry about it being uh, a, a balance problem, you know. And, and so the idea was to have a group that had that had clarity and was more transparent. And the other thing I've been trying to commission composers. So since he's writing a piece, I've been trying to commission composers to write for that ensemble, the orchestra wind section. And because there's not a lot of repertoire written for that group, uh, and I think it gives the piece an, a, an identity that might be more more individual. It doesn't restrict restrict bands from playing it, obviously, you know, because they, they have that instrumentation. But that instrumentation was within the large concert band, is within the wind ensemble. So this is going to be really a, a neat, you know, opportunity to do something like this. Every musician has a little bit of a wannabe percussionist in them. You know, no, seriously, I mean, because that's something that, it, that if you have great rhythm and you have great pulse and you have a good feel for music, you've got a percussion section going inside you anyway. We're really looking forward to Percussion Rochester in May, and I think that uh, the whole school is kind of jumping on board and, and the, yeah, the energy sure. is really great. And I think this, I, I think this is a really great thing for, for you and Bill to, to, to start and, and get going, and I hope that it lasts well, we, cer you know. we certainly appreciate uh, the, you know, the conductors and the school getting on board and being a part of it with us. And um, you know, it takes energy from everyone, and certainly the energy from you and Neil to, to want to get your ensembles involved in this is great. We're really excited. And the fact that you're willing to let me write a piece for you guys. You, know? oh. you never know what's going to happen. It could be rough for you. you know? Well, it usually is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, it, but it's always worth it. Well, it's always it's worth it. such a nice guy. Look at this guy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We're, we're very excited.